And then we're going to need another piece just like that to be for the other side. We may actually cut some of that back. Just to ensure that it's butting up nicely. I'm just going to take a little slice off the inside of this foam here. Though we've got a nice square cut, I'd still like on that inside edge to just ensure that the, um, that the join itself is not shown and you see, see no white edges. I'm just going to cut up another one exactly the same as what we just did there. Square up on it. Just cut those just precisely to size. So what's going to happen now, these pieces here all being well, we should have a top and a bottom section. and side pieces which are going to go in to making our box so then we just really need to get these glued together and make sure that it doesn't overlap that edge and so that's going to line the box there now what I'm going to do, I just think I'm going to use um, a double sided tape straight away just to actually get that in position and then we're going to make a few adjustments just to make sure everything's spot on so we don't want any little gaps so I'm using some of the uh, it's actually a, a Japanese um, double-sided tape here it's a really high quality tape it has both a high adhesive uh, content and it is actually one of the few that are able to be used in this situation it's going to grab onto that foam it's not going to harm it in any way there's not a an outgassing of a lot of harmful chemicals in this tape and so yeah we pop them down there So yeah, I've already put the little ledge, I put the little ledge there just so that everything would, I'm not going to peel that off just yet, we'll just get it going. I'm also going to put some uh, double sided tape on the edges of the board and I think this is going to help, it's just going to help hold those pieces together. We will tape it up around the back it's also just going to give some added reinforcement just on the ends of the long ones we don't want any sort of little unsightly joins that might um, 
take your eye away from where the actual picture is or where the glove is. So this is just going to add an extra layer of security to how I seal this, this piece together. And really it also adds strength, even though we are going to bond the back surface as well. The extra layer double-sided in on, on this join is just going to give that security that I feel is better. Many picture framers use lots of different fitting techniques. They usually work with complicated uh, assembly situations all the time and you really sometimes have to use uh, methods that you know work. So this is just lining, going to peel off the release film. I'm just going to line this box and it's going to make a uh, just up there like so so yeah I've got the horizontal pieces we're going to give this all a bit, bit of a good clean before we put everything together but this piece is going to sit in sit in vertically there I'm going to take the piece off the, the end of the vertical, uh, uh, the vertical section and I'm going to line that one up and I'm going to pull that tape in so we're getting a nice strong right angle box there. So that's going to sit really well. And then that last side's going to go in there. Just make sure everything's nice and level. So even without any reinforcement, that box is really quite solid. Um, I am actually going to tape around the edges here. We're going to use some of the Linico tape. There's a great uh, adhesive tape there that we can use to hold that piece in place. And then that part is what is going to line. I'll just have a look how it's coming. So at the moment there's a big void there still. We're going to have to work on that. But the glove itself is going to sit just inside that red box there and it's really starting to come together. It's going to look very luscious. It's on a beautiful red suede. Cyclone's colour is red and black. Uh, he's going for a black frame. It's always the way he does it. But this is going to really stand out and uh, make a stunning uh, statement on someone's wall. So we'll come back and have a look at how I put all that together in a mo. I'm just going to work on a few other little bits and pieces. Um, going to cut some glass get the glass in the frame, just give it a bit of a clean and we'll have a look at how we're going to reinforce the inside of that box so that we fill these sections that are here and really I just want to get the thing up to a stage where I can show you how we put the whole thing together and into the frame. So come back and have a look in a sec. So I was going to use some of the Linico tape that we've got but I just found uh, some of the PH770 and uh, this is actually quite fat and I'm thinking oh this will be good. It's a self adhesive one, um, acid free. I'm going to cut, someone's taken the scissors there, get the old ones. I'm going to cut some pieces of this tape and use it to reinforce around the corners of this box. It's just going to add some extra strength. We are actually going to pack everything up. I just want to get that tension holding that lot together. So 
sometimes we use uh, dressmaking pins and things like that when building foam uh, boxes. You can put pins through, just like uh, some people like to pin and lace uh, their needleworks on foam board.